For decades, they were sworn enemies. But in recent years, crises have brought Iraq and Iran closer together. The latest challenge being the rise of Daesh. Iran sent fighters to Iraq to help defeat the terrorists. Now Tehran needs Baghdad. Iran's president made his first state visit to Iraq. Tehran's crisis is its economy. It slipped into recession. And the US is being blamed. In 2015, Iran agreed to limit its atomic weapons program. In exchange, the US had lifted sanctions. But in May, President Donald Trump pulled out of the deal. He said it was too generous and went on to restore sanctions. Since then, the Iranian rial has lost value, inflation has quadrupled, and foreign investors have backed away. Compare this to the year after the sanctions were withdrawn, where Iran's economy grew by 12.5%. So how exactly can Iraq help? Trade Trade between the neighbors is already extensive. Iraq imports billions of dollars worth of Iranian goods and gas every year. Hassan Rouhani says he wants to increase mutual trade from $12 billion to $20 billion a year. But Baghdad's under pressure from the US to stop doing business with Iran. Rouhani's visit sends another message that despite US sanctions, it has influence in Iraq. This increased after Saddam Hussein was deposed by American forces in 2003. So are US sanctions on Iran having Trump's desired effect? And will help from Iraq be enough to bolster Iran's economy in the face of these restrictions? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.